everyone, I am Sterp and I am here again. This is actually the third video that I've recorded today in the same day. I know that YouTubers and people who um, make a lot of videos consistently, they'll record multiple in the same day. And I asked my husband if I should change my shirt because I know that, you know, there are some YouTubers that probably do for each of their videos, uh, but no, instead I just said, screw it why i mean it doesn't matter right content is content so this is the third video uh me wearing these earrings and this shirt but i'm just gonna get to it i'm also extremely hyped up on this stuff no they're not sponsoring my video i just love full throttle so uh yeah and it's not good it's not healthy it's good like it tastes good but it's not healthy today's video is going to be another reading of one of my short horror stories the last video i'll link it below i read my short story, The Crawl Factor, which has to do with ants. If you hate ants, you're gonna wanna read this. This one is called A Good Night's Sleep. I figure all of these are on my blog, iamsterp.com slash blog, but I figure some folks uh, don't like to really read stories. They might wanna hear them or watch a video um, and watch someone read them. So I'm just trying different avenues. So I'm gonna read the short story and then I'm gonna tell you all how I got the idea because I know that People are always interested in how writers and authors get their ideas. And sometimes the ideas are interesting and sometimes they're really not. They're kind of mundane and then we take it and we just like create this whole thing, right? This is called a good night's sleep. I was a light sleeper. I always had been. My anxiety made it worse. The story goes, every night I would try to lie down for some sleep, battling my insomniac brain. When you suffer from insomnia, it just means you were born to live in darkness. You were born to roam the desolate streets when everyone else is asleep. It's great in theory, but not so wonderful when living in a mediocre world where the majority of the population find their productivity during the daytime. Who even came up with those rules? I would awake from anything. The slight creaking sound from a foot meeting the kitchen floor downstairs. The sound of leaves crunching under a shoe down the block, a cabinet shutting clothes in the bathroom, or my parents starting the shower downstairs and water rustling through pipes inside the house. I hadn't got a good night's sleep in a long time. I woke up about four times a night and sometimes I couldn't fall back asleep for 45 minutes. I looked up some remedies for being born to live in the darkness, remedies that could help with pretending to live in mediocrity but I only found the deep sleep earplugs. That would have to do, plus they had a five star rating on Amazon, so there's always that. The earplugs came in on a Friday and I couldn't wait to test them out that evening. It was a normal Friday night for me. I curled up in bed and watched Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one. I took a sleep aid, a fitting thing to do, given my current movie of choice. Deep down inside, I hoped that maybe I would meet this infamous Freddy. When I started to doze off, I grabbed my deep sleep ear earplugs and shoved them as deep as they could go. All sounds muffled out. I don't know when I fell asleep because I drifted away into such a deep sleep that I slept through the entire night without ever waking up. I woke up and looked at the time. I slept in until 11, something I also hadn't done in a long time. Usually my parents would have called me down for breakfast. That was strange. I stood up, took out my earplugs and stretched. I held the earplugs in my hand and headed downstairs to show my parents my awesome new find on Amazon. I opened my bedroom door and stood at the top of the staircase. I stopped to listen. The house was silent. Had my parents left? I walked down the stairs, still waking up from my long night's rest. As I got to the bottom of the stairs, I couldn't believe what I saw. The couch had been gutted and white cotton covered the floor. The flat screen TV had been pushed off the entertainment center and thrown onto the floor. I walked into the kitchen and it was worse than the living room. The white kitchen tiles were smeared with streaks of blood. Every tile was covered. Someone had gone out of their way to smother each square. Footprints ran across the blood. They were small, dainty and bare of shoes. Our kitchen knives were laid out on the center island, lined up neatly like a buffet. In the lineup, there was one spot, the fourth from the right, that had a knife, but it was missing. Through the kitchen, my parents' bedroom door was open and I could see the bright sun rays that shone through their window shooting across their doorway. Someone had opened the curtains to their room. I walked toward the doorway and could still only see the brightly lit entrance from the natural sunlight from that Saturday morning. I peered inside and just like the couches, 
My parents had been gutted. Blood was everywhere. The bed sheets were so soaked, it looked like someone dipped them in a swimming pool of blood and put them back in the room. My dad was laid out on the floor at the end of the bed and my mother was on the bed. I stared down at my hand and opened my fist. My deep sleep earplugs lay in my palm. I had slept through the brutal murder of my parents and all I could think was, damn, these earplugs are great and at least I finally got a good night's sleep. How'd I get the idea for this story? I am a light sleeper. I was waking up from everything. My husband usually stays up a little bit later than me. Our computers are in our bedroom. And so he would barely turn his chair a little bit, like an inch, and I would wake up. And I would wake up five, six, seven times a night and I was not getting a good night's sleep. He kept suggesting that I get earplugs and finally I did. And they worked fantastic. So here they are. They're not called deep sleep earplugs. That was just made up, but I got these off Amazon. They are epically amazing. They really are. They've really been a lifesaver. So that's how I got the idea. I just thought that'd be kind of funny, right? Like you, you sleep through something so crazy, tragic, creepy, eerie, horrible. And then uh, you're just like, oh wow, these are great, right? All right, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you're a writer, an author, I'd love to hear about how you get your ideas. If you want updates via email from me, sign up for my newsletter, just head to imsterp.com. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I do appreciate you tuning in. Bye.